Now let's take a look at the system layout. For the system layout, we have two options. One, we can open from the setup under system viewer group. We have three options, cross section, 3D viewer, and shaded model. Or we can open it under analyze, which is the same. So let's open all three of them. I put it on the bottom. The second one, put it like here. And the third one, okay. So the system layout or cross section is the fastest way to look at the system. But you can only use it for rotationally symmetric optical systems. Which this lens is rotationally symmetric. By the wheel, you can change, you can change the zoom. By clicking, you can click on the object. By pressing the wheel and moving the mouse, you can change the position. Now, and then whenever you want to make it like a default, you can click on this line. And we have a lot of other parameters. You can draw lines over there, you can change it. So now let's look at the settings. The first surface is the dummy surface. I cannot change it to zero surface, which is the object, because object is at infinity. If you put a number for the object, then you can see it. Even if you click on zero, ZMAX automatically put it on the dummy surface, which is the first surface that we can see. So the second surface, I can put on dummy surface, which is from dummy to dummy, which is nothing. Now, the next surface, the second surface, and the image surface. So the scale bar, we can turn it off and on. Y stretch is gonna change the uh, multiply uh, this axis by a number. Let's say if you put 10, gonna scale it like this, which is not necessarily useful. I'm gonna put one here. And suppress frame, we can remove the frame. We can put arrow on the rays. We can delete vignette uh, by using uh, this uh, option. We can actually remove all the beams that are hit by optic by uh, stop or any other physical uh, aperture that. Now let's look at the layout. For opening the layout, we can open it from setup and then under this group, which is the system viewer, we have these three options, or we can go to analyze and open it from here. Both of them are completely the same. Let's open all three of them, cross section, let's put it here, let's put it on the bottom. Uh, 3D viewer, I'm gonna put this one next, and the shaded model, I'm gonna put this one as the last one. Now let's look at the first one. The first one, which is the cross-section system viewer, is the simplest way to look at your system. But in order to see your optical system, your optical system should be completely rotational symmetry. It's a 2D system, we cannot do anything. We cannot rotate the system. So by, press, by rotating the wheel, you can zoom in, zoom out. By pressing the wheel and moving with your mouse, you can change the position and let's say when you are in this situation that is zoomed on the side by clicking on this button we can put it at the center so we have a lot of options we can change the thickness the help is here we can add an arrow or you can copy this whole image with uh, this one and then you know for update you can you can click on update or double click on the surface now let's look at the settings the first surface is dummy surface first surface is the dummy surface we can change it to zero which is the image surface but because the image is at infinity but even if you click on that zmax automatically put it on the dummy surface so we cannot change that one so the last surface surface four we can change it for example to surface two right now we can see this is a dummy surface that we added 10 millimeter from the first surface of the lens now we can add the second surface and the image surface, which is the last one. 
So the number of rays, right now I have 10 rays. Let me change it to 50. Going to make it very uh, confusing. Or you can put, let's say, one ray for each wavelength, which is we don't have that much of information. Five or 10 is pretty good. So the scale bar is going to change the scale of the, it's going to, uh, we can turn it off and on. This is the scale bar. The Y stretch is just a visual thing that we can change it, for example, to 20. Now the image is like this, which is not a good way to look at it. So let's put one here, suppress frame. We can suppress the frame. Just look at the, the whole uh, rays. And we can add arrow to the rays by this parameter. For this part, which is delete vignette, that's a very important thing in ZMAX. When the beam is passing through the stop of the optical system, ZMAX automatically cut any beam that is higher than the stop. So when you click on delete vignette, ZMAX is gonna automatically remove any rays that is uh, higher than the stop of our optical system. So we don't need to turn it on because at the end we just look at the it's just a visual thing that we we always look at the focus point. So the next one is margin and chief rays only. We can only take a look at these two rays, which are the most important rays in any optical system. So the wavelengths right now, I'm just looking at one wavelength. I can change it to all wavelengths. Let's put the field. It's just field number one, which is unaccessed field. Right now, I'm just looking at this field. So for the wavelengths, I can put all the wavelengths. You can see we have uh, the beams pretty on top of each other, but when you zoom into the rays, you can see there is a little bit a difference between the position of the rays, which is which comes from the chromatic aberrations. So right now, we can color rays by wavelengths. When I change it, then you can see for different wavelengths, we have different color, and each of them focus slightly at a different position. So that's a chromatic aberration. I'm gonna put, put it back to field, color based on that, and the wavelengths, I'm just gonna look at wavelength one. So this is the focus. And upper pupil and lower pupil, we set it as, leave it at, one to negative one, but you can change it. It's, it's the way that you scan the upper pupil to the top pupil, so we don't need to change it. So press OK. If you save it, you can have these windows saved that the next time when you open the same windows, you have the same settings. So I'm gonna click on OK, put it at the center. You can take a look at all the beams. So for the 3D layout, most of the options is the same, but a good thing about this is that you can rotate your optical system you and rotate it and look at from different angles. Even you can zoom out, zoom in and rotate it by pressing the left hand uh, button. You can rotate the system. Now let's look at the settings again from dummy surface, number of the rays. Let's put 10 for the number of the rays. Scale bar is on, rotation. After you rotate it, these numbers, those numbers are changing. We can save those numbers and anytime when you wanna look at the optical system, we can look at it from a, a specific angle. Again, the same, we can hide the lens faces. Right now, this is the lens surfaces. We can hide the lens edge also. We can also hide X bars. And the, again, the same suppress frame. You can add arrow. Split uh, non sequential rays. This is not important for us right now. But when you have a beam that is split into two, ZMAX just by default shows the main line. But we can put a split, but we don't need to do it right now. A scattering non sequential rays also, that's the same. You can see the scattering, but we don't need to do anything right now. So right now I have three wavelengths, uh, I have uh, three fields. Let's put them based on just one field. Now the optical system is the same. 
The ray pattern is that how you're going to put your input rays. We have different options. Right now, this is X, Y fan. If you have rays in X and Y direction, you should be very careful. This is just for visual, pur visual purpose. You can see the system. But in reality, when you do the analysis, you have a full system. You can take a look at X, just in Y, and even make it like a ring shape. That you have a ring of light, ring of beams. You can make it like a list and put different numbers. Make it random, that you have random beams, and make it like a grid. Grid of uh, beams that are coming like uh, with a specific distance. So that's all for uh, this uh, 3D layout. Now the shaded model is actually most of the time, it's not that fast to see the 3D shaded model. It's the rendered version of uh, the 3D layout. We have the same settings like here, 45 is too much, let's put 10. And the ray pattern is ring, that's okay, color, by field, wavelength, wave number. So let's say right now I'm gonna do that field. And uh, we can actually change the opacity. So right now put that 50%, you can see inside of the system. Background, you can change the background color. Wavelength, you can have all the wavelengths, only one wavelength. Draw a section, we can have different sections, like we can see half of, just half of the system. Right now we have see we can see half of the lens, or we can see two quarter of the system, or we can see one quarter. So we have different options. Right now I put I'm gonna put that three quarter, and this is for if you put it at one hundred twenty eight, you have a completely round shape, but the the time of process is gonna be a little bit higher. That's a radial segment. We have, that's for the radio of curvature in this direction. The brightness, we can change the brightness. That's just all visual. 50% scale bar and change it to white or we can turn it off. So the rest of the parameters are the same. So in the next lesson, we're gonna talk about different way for analyzing the system.